In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a simple rope. But I figured I'd go ahead and show you my final, not final, but final rough draft of my lightsaber instead of making a whole new movie for it. So this is my rough draft final before I really start making it uh, ready, production ready. So I'm going to render it for you real fast so you just so you can get a look at what it looks like up to this point. Because I haven't made the uh, texturing and lighting videos for it yet, but we'll get there. Okay, this is our roughed, rough saber. Okay, you can see it's really rough right now. We still got a lot of fixing to do. Okay, but it's basically the final product, what we're looking for, the general, the general idea. Okay, so that's that. Also, I'm doing a lightsaber collection. I'm also working on the Count Dooku saber, which is right here. A um, little bit more involved than the others. But as you can see, it's coming along quite nicely. I've got my little lip here, and now i got to put the thing on it that comes out. But that's not going to be a problem. So, let's get started. Let's see if I can find it here. Let's get started. Uh, let's see. go over here and type new scene. This will totally get you a new scene, okay? And i got my center oriented on the Y-axis. So now I'm going to start. So let's go to our top view. And I'm going to lay in, I want to click a cylinder. And I want to give it 12 sides. And I'm going to give it 70 segments because it needs a lot of segments because we're doing a rope, okay? So I'm going to go in here and pull this out like this. And as you can see, 620, 620. Let's go back to perspective. And let's... uh pull this way up like that. Let's way down like that. Now as you can see we have this big long tube here and we can make it even longer actually. This. Let's go back to our top view. Okay. Here we go. So, drop, push the space bar, drop my tool. I'm going to go to my polygon mode. And I'm going to select everything, as you can see. Okay, I'm going to hit Command C, Command V to paste it. Hit my W tool to bring up my move, and I'm going to move that out. So, okay, Command Z, Command V to paste it one more time. Let's bring this back way up again. Spacebar drops a tool. Now, I'm going to select all of them here you can see so I'm gonna hold my shift key and double click them now I have all of them selected let's go back to top command C command V to paste it and now let's hit the E key for rotation and let's rotate it like this okay spacebar drops a tool command C <clears throat> command V to paste it again E key to rotate one more time now we have this. This spacebar drops the tools. Go back to our perspective view. Spacebar to deselect every or click to deselect everything after dropping the tool. Now, as you can see, what we got here. Okay, let's go back to our top view. Now it's a simple matter of using the right tool. Go to um, deform, twist, and you pretty much got it from here. Just twist it up like this. Let's go back to perspective. Let's twist this bad boy around some more. What do we have here? We have the shapings of a rope forming. Wasn't that? Ain't that something? Okay, now we got a uh, a rope. And you know, if you wanted to, you could actually um there's polygons here. Select the whole thing. Which it isn't right now. I would have to. I'm gonna have to go in and select it by holding the shift key and just double clicking on each individual strand, and that will select everything. If you want to go back to top view, you can do the exact same thing as you did before. Command C, Command V, W. This depends on what kind of rope you need and the thickness of it and all that. See now we got three. Now we'd have to go back to perspective dolly around 
and go through the process of selecting all these. By just double clicking them, not a problem. This is really not necessary to, to do this, this thing, but I'm going to do it anyway. Now that they're all selected, let's go back to top. Command C, Command V, E for rotate, and we're going to do the same thing. As you can see, we're going to rotate this. This is just going to give her a much thicker, denser rope. Command C, Command V, and we'll rotate it on around one more time. Okay, let's go back to our perspective view. Let's go ahead. Now, see, this is where it becomes tedious. Because we got to uh, select all these. And it gets hard to see which ones need selected and which ones don't. And there are better ways of doing this. It's not the best way. But for what we're doing... It keeps it simple, straightforward, and people can get it. And that's all I'm worried about is people getting it. Not if it's the quickest way, not if it's the best way, or the most efficient way, but if people can actually get it. And they can go through and get find more efficient and fast workflows on their own once they get it. But getting it <coughs> is what matters to me. Okay, now we've got them all selected. Again, we're going to go to our twist tool. And we can twist these up like this. I don't think I twisted it quite enough there, but you're all getting the general idea. I think. I think I twisted that way too much. <laughs> but, uh, well, actually, no, I didn't. It's not too bad. So there you go. Now we've got us a nice, thick strand of rope. You might want to go in and bring these together, too. Be more careful when you're making them because you don't want gaps. Okay. <clears throat> so there is our fist, our, our first fast, dirty, braided wire cable or, or just a regular old rope. You know, um, it don't have, you could have just used the one and just made it bigger. You could have just used the one like we made originally and just made it bigger. But I went ahead and made copies of it and just made it more thick. So there's just several ways of doing this. Um, if it was up to me, um, I would have probably just left the middle one and not put the things around it. But I just wanted to give you all options. So, thanks for watching, guys.